Hello and welcome to my channel for a Patch. This video is about simple things you can do to add depth to your paintings. Let's get started. Number one, grey haze. The further things are away from you, the greyer they look. This is because the atmosphere gets in the way when you look into the distance. Whether it's because of droplets of water or pollution, this haze will affect the colours when you see through it. The colour of that haze is usually a bluish grey. In a cityscape, because of the pollution, that grey turns a bit yellowish and sometimes even brown. In this little sketch of mountains, you can see that the mountains in the background are greyer and it helps to give the impression that they are receding in the distance. This makes sense for a landscape painting when things are really far away towards the horizon. But how does this apply when you paint something that is right in front of you? The principle is exactly the same. In this painting of a tree peony, I have a lot of layered foliage. Some of this foliage I wanted to make recede into the background, so I added another layer of grey. And now the painting looks like it has several layers of foliage on top of each other. Number two, contrast. The idea that lighter colours come forward and darker colours recede in the back of the picture is a little bit of a myth. For example, in this oil painting of trees in winter, the darkest tree is the one that comes forward. This is because it's not about colour, it is about contrast. In a foreground, the dark should be very dark and the light should be very light. As you move towards the background, the black should become dark greys and the white should become pale greys. The further you go into the distance, the lighter your darks are becoming and the darker your lights are becoming until eventually, really, really far away on the horizon, they merge into a range of mid-tones. Number three, details. The closer things are to you, the more detail you can see. Introducing this into your painting will trick your brain into thinking distance, even when really you're just looking at a flat sheet of paper. If you stand in front of a house, you can see the bricks, the window frames, or a butterfly on a climbing rose. But a house on a distant hill will just be a blob of muted brick red with darker patches for windows. You won't be able to make out the pale ghostly face staring at you down from the upstairs window. In this little landscape of the Isle of Wight seen from Highcliffe Castle, the gorse right under your nose has got a lot of detail in it. But the needles in the background are just painted with a wet and wet wash and no detail at all. And again, the same goes for close-up subjects. In this dried up hydrangea head, the petals in the foregrounds have got all the little veins painted on them, but the petals in the back just have a couple of wet and wet soft washes without any crisp detail added on top. Let us recap with a mermaid. In this beautiful portrait of a mermaid by Elizabeth Jericho Bowman, you can clearly see the three principles illustrated. You can see the grey haze hiding the rocks more and more as you go into the distance. You can see the strong contrast in a foreground between her glowing skin and the dark seaweeds and rocks. The amplitude in the contrast is lessened as you look further and further away into the distance. And finally the detail. In a foreground you can see every single little drop of water Dripping from her wild seaweed hair, you can see her eyelashes, you can see her skin, you can see the silvery fish scales, but in the background it's just broadly painted rocks with no details at all. So, grey haze, contrast, details, these three things will help you add depth to your paintings. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon on the Flores Patch channel. Thank you, bye!